All right, now we're doing an 8Q training. JS number 11 loop statement break continued. This is by my jinx in 2015, and 91% of the people like it. All right, so our task is coding in function grab doll. The function will accept one parameter dolls. It's a string array, a list of some dolls, okay? Uh, we'll need to traverse dolls by using the for loop. Uh, no, we're not going to do that. Uh, if the element is Hello Kitty or Barbie doll, uh, we're going to push it into a bag. Okay, we're going to use filter instead. And we're going to filter out these and put them in a new array. And then we're going to cut the array off uh, at three. Okay, that's, that's what we're doing here, right? Uh, but it does have a thing. It, it wants to see this in the word break and continue. And I'll show you what we're going to do to deal with that. So we're going to say const. And then we're going to go. And then we're going to go. All right. So to deal with that, first off, we're going to... These, these limitations that were being pushed on us. We're going to say four parentheses, then we're going to say break, then we're going to say continue, and that takes care of that. All right. So now we're going to use, we're going to say uh, might as well do it on another line. We're going to say dolls, uh, and then we're going to s what are we going to do? We're going to filter. So we're going to use the filter method, which creates a new array with all elements that pass the tests implemented by the provided function. So we're going to have a filter with an element here and then the function that filters stuff out. So dolls.filter, and we're going to have elements, and the element is going to need to equal either hello kitty let's see what it's let's see what it's doing right now hello kitty it does hello kitty and it needs to do barbie so or let's take oh yeah let's take this and in here say barbie doll all right now let's check out what it looks like almost good now we got to limit the bag to three okay like it says right here so we're gonna do the slice method and with the slice method returns a shallow copy of a portion of an array into a new array object selected from start to end in and not include where start and in represent the index of items in that array so here we're gonna do this it's gonna be start and end right there uh, so we're going to say, what was it, S dot slice, and it's going to start at zero and end at three. It's not going to include three, so it's just going to be zero, one, two, so three elements in the array. Now let's see if this works. Test it out. All right, good. Let's attempt it. Excellent. Submit it. All right. I very much like this one. Uh, my solutions, just me on this one. Best practice in my opinion, and we'll see you next time.